if you're a winger and you want to make a bigger impact on the field, these are soccer drills for wingers. Quick skill. Be creative, have fun with it here. Quality in your pass and go. Cut, shot, ace. Because if I have speed, sometimes all I need is a change of direction. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. These are soccer drills for wingers, and the first drill I'm gonna do is a little bit of fitness, a little bit of skill, but wingers are notorious for being lazy, so if you're one and you currently have that problem, I want you to admit it to yourself and I want you to work to change it. You have to track back, you have to play both ways. So this drill is about getting forward and tracking back, even if you're tired. Having quality when you're tired. So what you're gonna do is, I have two little areas, maybe you have a teammate to pass to, maybe you have a wall, maybe you have a little net, maybe you just have something to pass that ball into. I'm gonna get a forward, grab that ball, bit of skill, around that cone, play a pass. I'm gonna take care of my passes. I'm gonna hit the target every single time, play it into that net. I'm gonna track back. I'm gonna do the same here. Help out my defender, retain possession of the ball, little bit of skill. So I would run out here. Good, grab this ball. Now, you're a winger, use good skill, play in here, hit the target. Track, quick skill. Be creative, have fun with it here. Quality in your pass and go. Don't make the same pattern. Don't use the same skill every time. Hit your pass and go. Way quality, come on. And go. Hey, what's up? I hope you're finding this content helpful. Watch this all the way to the end if you want to find out which subscriber got this video's special shout out. So this drill, I want to work on a little bit of one v one skill, beating players in the right area, and then providing service, providing a cross. Because I feel, especially amateur level, young kids level, maybe I have a little bit of skill, these will be my defenders. If I'm coming from this side, this will be the defender, that would be just the angle I wanna cross at. But usually they'll have a little bit of skill, maybe you beat a guy, you do a really good job, but now, and I'm saying the net is here, I'm just passing into there, I'm playing across into the area. I'm just putting there so it catches the ball. We do a bit of good skill. Now we get into this area where it's time to play a good quality cross. And because we're tired or because we rush, we're not composed. All we have to do is maybe just play a cutback to our teammates and we waste it. We overhit it, we underhit it, we're not accurate enough. Or you go to play a cross and you overhit it, you put it over everyone's head. You did the hard part, you did the skill really well. Now you just have to compose yourself and supply a good cross. Okay, so maybe come like this. Little bit of skill in here. Okay, play across into there. You can go again. So a little bit of skill. Good, now composed. Cross into the box. If you box. like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the online Soccer Academy. Into the box, hit your teammate. Attack him. And sometimes it's just a cut back on the ground. But <clears throat> let's do this bit of skill. Lose the defender. Here, head up. Find the teammates. Okay, so here just pass, practicing quick skill. Quick skill. Now composure. Hit the teammate. Different types of crosses. That's probably over hit. But head up, cross into the box. So one more thing with this. Whenever you're in these 1v1 situations, what you don't wanna do is get trapped here on a standstill. Sometimes you might be there and you'll have to get out of it. But when you can, I want to attack him with pace. Because if I have speed, sometimes all I need is a change of direction. If I'm approaching him slowly, he engages me now. I'm just dancing on the spot. It's so hard for me to beat him. And even if I do beat him, 
I don't have the speed to get past him. So when you can in these situations, do not hesitate. Hesitation means I get the ball, I know I want to attack him, but for some reason in my head, I freeze and I slow myself down. Don't hesitate. Go one way or the other. And then put quality on your cross. Okay, so this drill, attacking with speed, with purpose. Don't hesitate, quick skill. Get to the end line, compose yourself. Don't rush your cross. Get your head up, find your teammate, put in a good quality cross. So we are working hard both ways. We're making forward runs to get involved in the attack. We're tracking back to help out on defense. We're using our skill that makes us stand out, that makes us dangerous, quality in our passes, attacking without hesitation. When you get in the area to make a good cross, you're being composed. Now we gotta talk about scoring goals because wingers need to score goals. Everyone needs to score goals, especially wingers. What I'm replicating here is match scenario coming in from the wing, cutting in, striking the ball into the net. Okay, so again, attacking here, change of direction, strike your ball on target. Now, a couple things here. Again, no hesitation. If I slow down here, I'm easy to defend. If he is on his back feet, he's trying to, he's trying to stop me like this. If I'm slow, I'm easy to defend. If I run at him full speed, cut inside, even if he knows I'm going inside, he can't stop me because he's flat footed, I'm running with speed. If you go slow, you're easy to defend. If you dribble fast, harder to defend. Even, even if I'm lose control of the ball, I can still recover, okay? So coming from both sides, even if you're a left footed winger, practice with both feet. I want two footed players. If you follow progressive soccer, you're a two footed player. Okay, let's tighten that up. So this here, think about, should I go on my left? If I'm gonna be messy. How many times have you seen Messi come inside, cut inside, shape like he's gonna take the shot, but another defender comes in, so he just keeps composure, goes again. Maybe another one just goes again, and then tucks it into that back corner. So come inside, the variations, but attacking with speed, cut, shot, or cut, <clears throat> composure, finish. That's a save. Right foot, hard cut, get around the ball. Let's talk about that for a sec because <clears throat> shooting coming straight forward is very different than shooting from the side, losing control a bit. At any point where I feel that ball's getting away from me, I'm gonna take like 50% of the power off of it. I'm just putting technique on the ball and letting technique take it towards the net because when I cut here, if I'm losing my body control and now I just swing as hard as I can, it's going over the net every time. So if that's getting away from me and I can't get my body on top of it, but I still want to hit it, just chopping that with technique. The other thing is If I'm going to strike like this and my body's there, where's the shot going? It's going there. So I'm trying to get my body around it. If anything, I'm trying to bring it back that way because the tendency is open up here, shot goes there. But those are some soccer drills for wingers. This is the featured subscriber for this video. If you'd like to be featured in future videos, hit that like button, drop a comment below, and let me know how my videos have helped you improve and achieve more in this sport. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy.